So you're trying to eat healthier, maybe lose a few pounds, but then food cravings strike. You have to have a soda, you need chocolate, or you've just got to finish this entire bag of chips. We've all been there, right? It happens, food cravings are common. But when you're trying to get healthier, what do you do when you're trying to fight food cravings and it's so difficult? You just grit your teeth and bear through it and just wait for it to pass and hope you don't give in? That works sometimes, but long-term, just willpower is not enough to help get rid of cravings. Instead, what you wanna work at is getting to the root cause of those cravings so that you can get rid of them for good. I'm Holly, Every Noel Fitness and Nutrition Coaching, and in this video, I'm gonna give you seven tips to help you fight food cravings to get rid of them long-term. There are several reasons for why we have food cravings. And in this video, we're gonna look at six of these main causes, and then I'll give you tips to address them. So some of these causes are inadequate sleep, inadequate exercise, stress and anxiety, skipping meals, not eating enough at breakfast or lunch, and habits and rituals. Let's talk first about poor sleep or inadequate sleep. When you don't sleep enough, you have a hormone called ghrelin that rises, and this hormone causes you to feel hungrier. Generally, because you're low on energy because of sleep, your cravings for carbohydrates and sugars increases. So typically, if you're getting less than about six hours of sleep a night on a consistent basis, you will find yourself hungrier and craving foods that are rich in carbohydrates and sugars. Typically, this means more processed and junk type foods. On the contrary, when you're sleeping enough on a regular basis, which is around seven to eight hours or so for most people, you won't experience these same hunger pains and cravings. So, simply enough, you want to get more sleep, which for some people might just mean you need to go to bed a little bit earlier. You need to turn off the TV sooner or put down the computer and head to bed earlier to make sure that you get enough sleep. But what if you really struggle with sleep? What if you're one of the people who you just lay in bed forever feeling like you can't fall asleep? Well, there are plenty of things you can do to help improve your sleep, which includes things like limiting your caffeine, especially after noon, shutting down laptops, cell phones, TVs, a few hours before bed to get rid of the blue light that tends to keep you awake. There are also things like herbs and supplements that can help to relax your mind because many of us the struggle with sleep is that our minds won't stop. You can also use things like essential oils, such as lavender to help calm, again, your mind and your body and get you prepared for sleep. Those are some of my favorite things to do is either apply essential oils to my feet or diffuse them before and during bed to promote quality sleep. Another major cause of food cravings is stress and anxiety. Just as I mentioned, it affects your sleep, it affects the rest of our waking hours as well and tends to cause cravings for comfort foods, which are usually unhealthy foods. So when the body is in this stressed out, anxious mode, it tends to crave carbohydrate rich, sugar rich foods because the body thinks that it needs energy for whatever stress is about to come. Additionally, if you're feeling really emotional, more of that sad type of stress or anxiety, you will tend to crave foods that will boost serotonin. Again, these tend to be carbohydrate rich foods. So what can you do about your stress, anxiety, and difficult emotions? Well, you can go ahead and reach for carbohydrates, but look for ones that are nutrient dense, wholesome, natural foods. So you might do something like, rather than a big bowl of pasta, maybe you have zucchini noodles, with a low sugar marinara sauce and ground turkey. It has kind of that same comfort food type feeling as a bowl of pasta, but it's full of protein and nutrients, and it's gonna be a lower calorie option to help keep you full and satisfied. You might also reach for a fruit. Instead of a sweet that's made with refined sugars, have a piece of fruit to get that carbohydrate and that little energy boost rather than go for the processed foods, which are less healthy and will continue to perpetuate the cycle of cravings for sugar and junk food. Additionally, look outside of food. If you're dealing with tough emotions, you might consider something else like go for a long relaxing walk, call a friend, journal about what's going on, pray, ask God for help through the situation. You might wanna run a warm bath, read a book, do something that's going to help relax you in a way where you're not depending on food for your comfort or relaxation. And again, I also highly recommend essential oils for this. There are many great blends and single oils out there 
that help to reduce stress and anxiety. I have a separate video on that and I will link that here for you. Another common problem I see as a registered dietitian and nutritionist is that a lot of people, in particular women, tend to skip meals or not eat enough during the day. So often in an attempt to lose weight or be healthier, many people will skip breakfast or they'll skip lunch or they'll eat tiny, tiny little portions trying to control cravings and overeating. But then what happens is you're energy deprived, you're tired, your willpower starts to go when you're not energized. You're not giving your body the nutrients it needs. You're not giving your brain the nutrients it needs to get through your work day or take care of your kids all day long. And then you hit the evening and suddenly you want to overeat and you're craving all sorts of food. And then at the end of the day, when you have less willpower, then you tend to give into those cravings more. So it's very important that you're eating adequate calories all throughout the day. So have a good, healthy, full breakfast, have a good, satisfying lunch, and try to fill these meals with nutrient-dense foods. So vegetables, whole grains, or starchy carbohydrates like potatoes. Have fruit, add some nuts, put things in there that are well-rounded, give you all the nutrients that your body needs, will help to keep you full, and if your body is feeling satisfied, it's less likely that you're going to experience so many cravings. Similarly, in the evening, try not to have a tiny little meal and then end up snacking all through the rest of the night. That used to be one of my bad habits that I would try to have a really small meal at dinner, but then I would start digging through the popcorn and the chocolate and the sweets, and I would end up eating all these other foods and completely overeat and give in to all these cravings in the evening. So instead, Again, have a very filling, nutritious dinner with vegetables and fiber and protein and healthy fats to help set you up to be able to fight cravings that come in the evening. The more satisfied you are with your food, the less likely you are to go overboard on unhealthy food options. As an example, you may want to have something like scrambled eggs and a piece of whole grain toast for breakfast or a medium-sized bowl of oatmeal with some chia seeds, some berries, and some nuts. And for lunch, maybe rather than a tiny little salad, maybe you have something more like a bowl where you have quinoa or brown rice, maybe some beans, some vegetables, some protein, throw in any ingredients you like, or you could put a salad on top of some whole grains to make it a little bit more filling and make sure you've got some protein in there, whether that's fish or an animal product, eggs, or tofu, something that will help keep you full. If you need more ideas on what to eat and what those portion sizes should look like, I do have meal plans available on my website that you can download to have four to six weeks of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks to give you a better idea of what's healthy and what can help keep you full and fight cravings. Another way to fight cravings is to make sure that you're getting enough exercise. Some research has found that when you do more intense exercise, it helps to curb cravings. So make sure that you are frequently doing something that is fairly taxing. So that might be a hard swim, that might be a jog, it might be some hard strength training, a high intensity workout class, boxing, something like that, as opposed to just an easy walk or an easy yoga class. Now, one of the keys with this, because sometimes exercise does cause people to become hungrier, is to make sure that you're eating enough before and after your workout. So before your workout, you want to make sure you're well fueled to give you the energy to perform well during that workout and get the most out of it. And then right after you're done working out, you want to make sure you have a protein and carbohydrate rich meal that can digest quickly and help to start replenish those glycogen stores that are may now be emptying and help to rebuild muscle that you just broke down. So don't be afraid of eating after you exercise. A lot of people are thinking, I just burned off all these calories. I don't want to eat them. But after workout is the best time to eat to help your body recover. And your body will use that fuel very quickly as opposed to storing it as fat. And that should help to prevent that intense hunger that might come later if you were to skip a meal. Another tip for you is to find a healthy substitute for the foods that you tend to crave frequently. So if you love eating brownies or cookies, if those are your weakness, maybe you can find a healthier option. There are so many recipes online these days of healthier versions of some of our favorite treats. Or something that I did was I turned to protein bars that had a similar taste, 
So my first thing was using Quest Nutrition Bars, the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor, popping it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And that had a similar taste to me as a cookie. No, it's not identical, but it kind of helped me get through that craving because it was just sweet enough. The texture was similar enough that it met that craving for me. And then over time, I was able to have less of that or just have a piece of chocolate and get down to the point where because I wasn't eating all of that sugar, I wasn't craving it as much. And now I don't even rarely have cravings for those foods. So try to find something similar to whatever it is that you love and see if you can find a healthier alternative. So you might swap out having ice cream for making nice cream, which is made with frozen bananas or frozen fruit. Or if you're craving something like cheese or a salty snack like that, maybe instead you can have some salty popcorn or hummus that kind of has a similar flavor profile and texture. Find something that's kind of similar but is healthy. It's going to give you more nutrients and is lower calorie to help you fight those cravings. I actually frequently post blogs with these type of tips as well as YouTube shorts that are also on Instagram with different healthy food options and swaps that I like to do. So make sure to check the shorts that I have on my YouTube channel as well as visit my blog and I will put some links and resources in the description as well. My next tip is something that is not often top of mind for many of us, especially if you're not a person of faith, but as a Christian woman, I find that going to God in prayer for help to overcome food temptations is incredibly powerful. When you are struggling with really fighting temptation, you feel like food kind of has a bit of a control or a power over you. Take a moment to maybe get out of the kitchen or away from the temptation and take a minute to talk to God. This might be as quick as 15 seconds or several minutes, but take that concern, take that temptation to God and ask him to help you overcome it. Ask him to give you the strength and power to say no to whatever it is that you're struggling to say no to and rely on him to come through and empower you for that. I have seen it work in myself and many other people. The Bible says that God does help us out of temptation that he allows a way out. So when you're struggling, turn to God, ask for his help and see him pull through for you. Even if we go to God in prayer, it's very important that we take responsibility to change our environment, our settings, and the temptations around us to help us overcome food cravings. So one of the most important tips I can give you is to change your habits and rituals. Many times our longings for food are connected to some sort of daily habit we have. So you might experience this when you wake up in the morning and your first thought is to go to the coffee pot. Or it may be when you sit down for dinner at night and you've finished it and now you're watching TV. Now your habit is to eat popcorn or to have a glass of wine or to eat some chocolate or some sort of dessert. We get in these habits and rituals and then sometimes we eat those foods without even thinking about it. We might not even be craving anymore. anymore. It's just become this habit that we do and that can be very hard to break and that's why we continue to crave these foods. So try to break the habits and rituals that you've set up in your life. One way you might do this is simply by not keeping that food or drink in the house. Keep it away so if you really, really, really want it, you have to go to the store to get it. Or ask for support. If you have a roommate or a spouse, maybe you can ask them to help you stay occupied with something at that time that you normally crave a certain food. Maybe instead you have a family walk after dinner instead of sitting down watching TV with food. Do something that will get you out of the habit of continually eating the food that you crave. And over time, once you break that habit, it helps to break it from your mind and you no longer associate a food with a certain action and you can break free of that craving. All right, I have one last final bonus tip for you. Don't try to fight every single craving. If you're trying to get rid of everything and never eat it and you tell yourself that you cannot have it, the way our brain works is that then we want it. We want whatever we can't have. So don't try to willpower and fight every single craving. Once in a while, if that craving is super strong, have a little treat. Maybe you just have a small portion of whatever it is that you like or have something similar that will satisfy that craving. Continually holding out can eventually mean that later down the road, you completely binge 
and you might go right back to over consuming that food. So allow a little bit of wiggle room here and there in your diet. Don't tell yourself you can never have this food or drink again. Just try to cut back, replace it with other things, and once in a while, give yourself some space for a little treat. These types of tips and guidance is a lot of what I do in one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching with my clients. So if you feel like you could use more help in this area, a little bit more support and accountability, please reach out to me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. I'd be happy to give you a free consult to learn a little bit more about what I do and see how we could work together to help you reach your health goals. Additionally, as I said, I do have meal plans on my website along with many other resources. So if you need a little bit more guidance and specifics in what to eat, what foods are healthy, and replacing some of the food habits that you have in your life, you can download one of those meal plans at renewalfitcoach.com. I will put the link down in the description. And if you like this video, please give it a like and share it with someone that may find it helpful as well. And until the next video, blessings on your health and fitness journey.